Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use Control A to select all the text in a long text box. We're in a text box based on a long text field. I get it. Okay. In Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Evelyn in Lombard, Illinois, one of my Platinum members. Evelyn says, my database has long text fields that I use for entering and editing notes for my field text. In most applications, pressing Control A selects all the text in the current field or document, but in Access, it selects all the records instead. This is frustrating because I often want to quickly select all the text in a field while typing or editing so I can cut, copy, or paste it. How can I change this behavior so Control A works the way it does in other applications? Yeah, you're right. That can kind of be annoying. I've, I've run into this myself in the past. Let me show everybody else what we're talking about. All right. In most other applications like Microsoft Word, here's a Word document. If I hit Control A, it selects all the text. I can then copy paste do whatever with it. In Excel, if I hit Control A, it selects everything. I can cut, copy and paste it. Even in Notepad, if I hit Control A, it selects all the text. I can cut, copy and paste it. And if you want to read a cool story where Worf and Jadzia hunt some tribbles, well, pause now and <laughs> read that. <laughs> but in Microsoft Access, if you're in a form and you hit Control A, all right, even if you're in this long text field over here, if you hit Control A, it actually selects all the records, all of the text on all of the records. If I hit Copy now, Control C, and I go back into Notepad, let's open up Notepad here. You open up a different window and hit Paste. There's all the records. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't want that. That's no, I don't want that. All right. So what do I want to do here? Well, Evelyn is working with long text fields where she is working with uh, reports from her text. So she wants to be able to, as she's typing, right? Da, 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 she wants to be able to hit control A and select all of the text in that long text box so she can then do stuff with it. Okay. So before we get started, this is going to be a developer level video. What does that mean? That means if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. We are going to use the key down event to trap when the user hits control A. So make sure you watch this video so you understand how key down works. Make sure you understand how set focus works. And make sure you understand cell start and cell length. Go watch these videos if you're not familiar with any of this stuff. They're all free. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch them and come on back. All right, first thing I'm going to do real quick is I want to make this text box bigger just for the purposes of class. We can get rid of those buttons too. Let's make this a little bit larger like that. All right, so we got some room so we can see our long text field. There it is right there. Okay. Now, there are some ways you could do this without programming, all right? For example, if you're in here and you want to select all the text, you could shift tab and then tab back into it and then hit copy, right? Control C. That's one way to do it, all right? You could hit Control Home and then Control Shift End and that'll select all the text. That's kind of hard though. You got to remember all those keys. You could even associate a label with this and then you could use the alt trick like you could assign alt a to it and then hit alt a and that will then select all the text too. For example, let's say over here, first name, right? You got a label here. Let's say I want to put an ampersand in front of N. Okay. Now see how there's an underline under N alt N will now select that field. So you can come back in here. And if I'm over here now and I go alt N, it selects that field. All right, that's another trick. Those are all things you could do without programming, but Evelyn wants to be able to hit control A and select all that text. So we need a little bit of programming to do that. So first, let's do the easy thing. Let's make a button that'll do that first. I like to show things with buttons first. All right, drop a little button down here. Cancel the wizard. All right, select all we'll call it. All right, and then over here, we'll do select all button or let's make it select text select text button all right select text there's all to me means maybe all the fields 
All right. A lot of times when I'm playing around with something first, even if it's not going to be in a button, I'll put it in a button just to get it to work. And then I'll move it where I want it because buttons are easy. Uh, I can be programming events and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll just throw it in a button, put it on a menu. And that way you can just make sure it's working. But let's go into the button code. All right, right here. Now I want to select all the text in that field. So first you got to go to the field. So notes dot set focus, then notes dot cell start equals zero. That says put the cursor before the first character. If you didn't watch the cell start video, go watch that. Then we're going to select all the text by saying notes dot cell length equals the length of notes, whatever's in there. All right. You could also come up here and say if is null notes, then exit sub, all right? Maybe put that after you move there, all right? We'll do this there. That way it'll put the, it'll put the cursor there either way, but if there's nothing in there, it won't bother doing any of that stuff. All right, save it, debug compile once in a while. And then we'll come in here and I'll hit select text. Boop, there you go. All right, so now we got a button that does it. And you could even do the same thing with the button that I showed you before. All right, you can make this, well, let's put it in front of the S, right? Select text. Now you can do Alt S and that will select all that text. Uh, Evelyn doesn't want Alt S, she wants Control A. All right, how do we do that? So we're gonna have to use the key down event to capture Control A. So design view, we're gonna go into here. We're going to go into the events. We're going to go to key down, the key down event. If you haven't watched the key down video, go watch it now. All right. The key code for A is the number 65. And the shift code for control is 2. So if key code equals 65 and shift equals 2, then this is control A has been pressed. Okay, what are we gonna do? Well, pretty much the same stuff from the button. We'll just do this, like that. All right? Actually, we probably want our is null in here too, because if there is no code in here, we'll do that, right? Exit out. And then when we're all done, we're gonna set the key code equals nothing. We're gonna blank the key code, okay? And again, if any of this is unfamiliar, go watch the key down video. I literally covered this exact same thing. Well, kind of. <laughs> All right, save it, debug compile. And now come in here. I'm typing, I'm typing, I'm typing. Control A, and there you go. It selects all that text for you instead of selecting everything. You can even make Control A Copy that text to the clipboard, saving you another keystroke if you want to, right? Just come in here and then right there, say do command dot run command ACCMD copy, right? Copy to clipboard. That copies a selected item to the clipboard. And then why not? Let's throw a beep in there too. Beep. Save it. All right. Type it. I'm typing. I'm typing. Control A. And it's now on the clipboard. Test it, go back to notepad, read, read, my, read my story, and then paste, there's all that text that I just copied, okay? So this is a practical application for all that key down stuff that we learned and cell start and cell length, right? And that's getting access to do exactly what you want to do. The whole point of access is to make your job easier, right? And if you, if you want it to behave a certain way, then do it. Right, take those Legos and put them together and, and make the form, you know, listen to you. That's the whole point of building your own application and access is the database does what you want it to do. You don't have to change the way you work to fit your software. And if you like stuff like this, I got tons more developer classes on my website. Come and check them out. I'm working on developer 47 right now. So there's hundreds of hours of videos for you to learn. So come on, stop by and join in the fun. But that's going to do it for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, 
manufacturing expert specializing in access and SQL Server, Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft Access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and Amanda Nicole Consulting specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an access database. You'll find links to the Diamond sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing. Free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my access forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, 
plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.